Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone Welcome to our learning video This video contains speaking for academic purposes materials Speaking for academic purposes is one of the courses in the English Department Faculty of Teachers Training and Pedagogy University of Batlahul Anwar This course is intended to prepare students for various language use in academic setting such as presenting current issues, reporting, and discussing information. It also enabled and encouraged students to provide various types of academic presentation such as academic speech, debate, and research presentation. As a result, activities that encourage students to articulate their ideas and practice their English verbally will dominate the classroom session. So, happy watching! My name is Nadia. I'm going to explain about chart, graph, and diagram. The first, I'm going to explain about chart. The definition of chart. Charts is a graphical representation for data visualization in which the data is represented by symbols such as bars in a bar chart, lines in a line chart, or slice in a pie chart. A chart can represent tabular numeric data, function or some kinds of quality structure and provides different information. Here are three of most common charts, which are bar chart, pie chart, and line chart. The characteristic of charts. The first, there is the title tells us what the subject of the chart. And then, there is the vertical axis tells us what is being measured. And the last, there is the horizontal axis tells us the units of measurement represented. The function of chart. Charts enable you to visually compare multiple sets of data. Chart can help people better understand and remember information. Many people understand a picture more quickly than blocks of text. A compelling chart can help you make your point more convincingly and lend credibility to your presentation. The second, I'm going to explain about graph. The definition of graph. Graph is a mathematical representation of a network and it describes the relationship between lines and points. A graph consists of some points and lines between them. The length of the lines and position of the points do not matter. Each object in a graph is called a node. Or we can say that a graph is a mathematical diagram which shows the relationship between two or more sets of numbers or measurements. The characteristic of graph. The first, graph should have a clear, self-explanatory title. The second, the units of measurement should be stated. The third, graphs should be simple and not too cluttered. And the last, all axes should be carefully labeled. The function of graphs. Graphs are used to represent discrete objects and the relationship between this object. So simply, a graph is defined as a collection of points connected by lines or edge. Graphs are used in everyday life, especially to describe the problem model and describe it correctly and clearly. In addition, graphs are also used to make it easier to solve various kind of problems that are difficult to solve with ordinary calculation and considerations. And the last, I'm going to explain about diagram. The definition of diagram. 
A diagram is a symbolic representation of information using visualization techniques. Or, a diagram is usually a two-dimensional display which communicates using visual relationships. It is simplified and structured visual representation of concept, ideas, construction, relation, statistic data, anatomy, etc. The characteristic of diagram. The first is represent or state hierarchy of formality, where proof is the top. The second, represent argumentation, justification, and proof as separate but linked action. The third, diagram use certain coordinate plane to compare characteristic of argumentation, justification, and proof. The fourth, describe argumentation, justification, and proof as action or activity or process. The function of diagram. Diagram may be used for all aspects of human activities to explain or illustrate a topic. Also, diagrams are essential to provide a clear and ambiguous picture. They can be put together in meetings, can make discussion easier than lots of text, and are quicker and easier to do iteration and rework. It is very easy to be tempted to start writing a document. I am Norlita. I would like to explain my explanation about how to make chart, graph, and diagram. How to create charts in Canva. Charts enable you to visually compare multiple sets of data. Many people understand a picture more quickly than blocks of text. In feature research, has shown that people process visual 1600 times faster than text. Compiling chart can help you make your point more convincingly and lend credibility to your content. This article will explore Canva charts and explain how to create charts in Canva. One step. Search for charts under elements. Go to the elements section on the left menu and search for the chart. You will see many options of predefined charts. The second step. Select your chart type. Select any of the charts. In this example, we are creating a pie chart. If you have your data ready in Google Sets, you can directly connect to your set as well. The other way, you can enter your data is manually by directly entering the numbers into the data boxes. The third step is enter data and add chart. You can add the data in the boxes and you will see the chart automatically begin to to auto format itself. You can also adjust the color of your chart, the font used for data labels, and the size of chart. The fourth step, custom chart details and settings. You can also use set settings button for changing the way your data looks. You can format your chart to display values as percent or numbers, for example in this picture. We continue part 2. How to make graph? The first is choose a chart or template. And the second one, add your data or information. For example, data or information is receive email or phone call from customer. The third, add an icon or illustration from our library. For example, picture the customer. The four, change the color font, background, and more. For example, font is Latin Modern Roman. And the last, download, print, or share this graph. Well, part 3. How to make diagram? 
the six most commonly used diagram types. This is, is the fourth column diagram, line diagram, pie diagram, bar diagram, area diagram, and, and the last, surface diagram. And how to make diagram in Word? The first is open the Microsoft Word application. First, click insert on the menu bar or ribbon. The second one, then press chart select column. The, se the, the specify the desired diagram shape on the top right of the insert chart window. The third, press OK. The fourth, rename the column title and the title in the Microsoft Excel window. The five, change the value of the diagram according to the Microsoft. And the last, close the Microsoft. In this picture, picture one, two, three, four, five, and nine, this is make diagram in Word. Here I will make a video about
basis of the cars the basis is crazy although the about the bait and the betting format. The betting is a class of argumentation among the government teams and opposition teams, which is started from the word motion. When the speakers say motion, the government teams and the opposition teams should be ready understanding the motion and the topic about. Hello, I will explain the betting format. This format is very popular in UK, used by many university competitions. There are 8 speakers in this format. The first, 2 speakers of 2 people on each side. Each speaker gives a speech of up to 5 minutes. And second, the second team on each side. They are must take care to ensure over the new idea to the debate. They are to give the example or explain the summary speaker. Timekeeper. Timekeeper role is to time each team. Child person is to welcome the audience and briefly introduce the motion and introduce the speaker. Judge Judge is somebody who has volunteered or been hired by the tournaments to evaluate rounds of the competition. Okay guys, I will explain about kinds of debate. The first is Australia or Asia debate. Sometimes referred to as Australian debating or Australia style is a form of academic debate. In the past few years, this style of debating has increased in usage dramatically throughout both Australia and the ASEAN region. But in the case of ASEAN countries including Singapore, Malaysia, and the Philippines, the format is also used alongside the British parliamentary format. The context in which the Australia or Asia style of debate is used various. It is commonly used in Australia at the primary and secondary school level uh, ranging from small informal one of intra-school debates uh, to larger more formal inter-school competition with several rounds and a final reviews which occur over a year. It is also commonly used at university level. Asia debate strategy as a form of speaking practice to encourage students to be active and confident in a discussion so they accustomed to express their idea in English. In Australia, as a debate strategy, students are divided into teams. They discuss the topic that is given by teacher. Uh, the first team agree with the topic and the second team disagree about the topic. Each of them is given an opportunity to tell their idea and respond to the other arguments. 
By using this strategy, students are expected to improve their ability in speaking. Okay, the second one is uh, kinds of British parliamentary style. The bed regulates the beds come in different forms, known as styles, and it comes with its own set of rules and conventions. British parliamentary style debate in one of the more popular forms based on debates in the British Parliament. It was first adopted by UK University, but is now popular in debating competition around the world. Oxford debating. How does British parliamentary style debating work? Much like in the House of Commons, the debate is split into two opposing sides, the proposition or government, and the opposition. Each side is then further divided into opening and closing teams, all four of which have two speakers. These are named after their equivalent position in the British Parliament. Opening proposition, Prime Minister or PM and Deputy Prime Minister. Opening opposition, leader of the opposition and deputy leader of the opposition. Closing proposition, member of government and the government whip. Closing opposition, member of the opposition and the opposition whip. The speaker alternative between the proposition or in favor of the motion or topic being debate and the opposition against the motion. I would like to explain the rules of debate. The rules of Australian Zoo debate. First, the topic to be debated in the format that, for example, the cats are better than dogs or this house. This house would establish a wood government, for example. Second, Australian debate has two sides. One side is called the affirmative and other side is negative. Each team comprises three members. Third, in the debate round, there will also be at least one independent head judge who is called the adjudicator, who is responsible for deciding the winner of the debate. Fourth, all teams are randomly assigned their positions prior to the debate, and they have one hour once the motion is refilled to prepare their cases. Fifth, each speaker has a set speaking time according to the rules agreed to by both teams. Points of information on POI allow between the first minute and the sixth minute of the speech. But the POI are not allowed during the reply speech. The speaker can decide to accept or reject the POI. Six, order of delivery speech. First, affirmative speaker. First, negative speaker. Second, affirmative speaker. Second, negative speaker. Third, negative speaker. Negative reply speaker. Speech must be given by either first or second negative speaker. Last is affirmative or reply speaker. Speech must be given by either first or second negative speaker. Moving on, let's see the rules of British parliamentary debate. First, the motion to be debated in the format this house. For example, this house would ban Zeus, or this house believe that university education should be free. Second, British parliamentary debate has to side to. One side is called the government, and other side is opposition. There will be four teams, each team has two speakers. Two teams are going the government side, and two teams are going the opposition side. Third, in the debate round, there will also be at least one independent head judge who is called the chair, and is referred to the debaters as the honorable speaker, choose only two or more judge called panels. Fourth, all teams are randomly assigned their position prior to the debate, and they have 15 minutes once the motion is refilled to prepare their cases. 
Non digital devices are allowed in preparation, and access to the internet is prohibited. You prep, you prep with your partner, not with all of other speaker on your side. If a speaker has either five or seven minutes to speak, depending on the format of the unit, the first and last minute is referred to as protected time. During this time, no kinds of information or POIs can be offered. But with this time, speakers from other team can give the POI. Remember that you can give the POI to an individual on the same side of you. If you are on the government side, then you can only offer a POI to any opposition debate. Six, order of delivery speech, prime minister, leader of opposition, deputy of prime minister, deputy leader of opposition, member of government, member of opposition, government whip, and opposition whip. Seventh, the objective for each team is to place first place. So even though there are two teams for the government and two teams supporting opposition, only one team will be declared as the winner. I will give an example of a video or show of two style debates, namely British Parliamentary Style Debates and Australian Parliamentary Style Debates. Okay, let's just watch the video. Before that, I will introduce the parties involved in the British Parliamentary Style Debate, namely Team Opening Government, Team Opening Opposition, Team Closing Government, Team Closing Opposition, Moderator, First Judges, Second Judges, and Third Judges. Next, we see the formation or sitting position of the parties involved in the British Parliamentary Style Debate. There are two debate teams. First, the government team is on the right. Second, the opposition team is on the left. Next, the moderator is on the middle of the debate participant, while the judges is above or in front of the debate participant. Next, the motion or topic that will be debated in this debate is this house believes that governments should provide a universal basic income. Okay, let's look at the procedure of the British Parliamentary Style Debate. Is the Prime Minister. Please step forward to the podium. You may begin at the sound of the beep. The fourth speaker is the Primary Minister from the opening government team. Each speaker of five minutes speech according to the motion. Point of information POI can be made by the opposing team after the first to fourth minutes. The speaker has the right to reject or accept the POI submitted by the opponent. Each speaker should take at least one POI. Thank you. Furthermore, from the opening opposition team, namely the leader of opposition, to present their arguments. Next, to the government opening team, namely the deputy prime minister, to refute opposing speaker and provide arguments. Continue to the opposition team, namely the deputy leader of opposition in this society. Thank you. After the two opening teams gave their arguments, judgments are allowed to provide constructive input or criticism to the team. Thank you for your insightful comment. The next speakers from the closing government team, namely the member of government, strengthened the team's case which had been refuted by the opposing speaker and did not bring new arguments. Okay. Next from the closing opposition team, namely the member of opposition. Okay, that's, thank you. The next speaker from the government team is the government whip to review the argumenting team and conclude the conclusion from the argument. The last speaker from the opposition team is the opposition whip. Future wisely, thank you very much. It is once again on how they saw the debate. First, Professor Kong. After the debate is over between the government team and opposition team, the judgment will provide input and determine who will be the winner. The winner is determined from the assessment aspect, namely the switchability between the motion and the argument, ability to argument clearly and coherently, ability to review and respond to opposing arguments. Songnam Foreign Language High School and Hana Academy Hall, congratulations! For more detailed video, you can click on the link below. Okay, the second video is the Australian Parliamentary Style Debates.
The Australian parliamentary debates consist of two teams, namely the government team and the opposition team. Each team consists of three speakers, besides that there are moderators, three judges and team keeper. Let's look at the city information of the Australian parliamentary style debates. The government team on the right, the opposition team on the left, the moderator in the middle, while the judgment and team keeper are in front of the participant. After that, introduce the motion that will be debated. Next, let's pay attention to the procedure of the Australian parliamentary style debates. The first speaker from the government team is the Prime Minister. Each speaker was given 7 minutes to convey his arguments, and the opposing team or POI could review the speaker and the speaker was entitled to accept and reject POI. The speaker at least accept one POI. The second speaker from the opposition team, the leader of opposition. The second speaker of the government team is the deputy prime minister to review the opposition leader, provide a new or deeper analysis. Then the second speaker from the opposition team, namely the deputy leader of, of the opposition. Continue to the third speaker from the government team, namely government whip, to bravely summarize the deputy and provide a comparison of the argument. Next to the third speaker from the opposition team, namely opposition whip. After all team have presented their arguments, they are given three minutes to summarize all speech for replay. Continue to the last speaker from the government team, namely government reply, give five minutes to summarize the debate. And the last from the opposition team, namely opposition reply, to summarize the debate. After the debate is offered between the government team and opposition team, the judgment will provide input and determine who will be the winner. The winner is determined from the assessment aspect, namely the switchable between the motion and the argument, ability to explain argument clearly and coherently, ability to review and respond to opposing argument. For a more detailed video, you can click on the link below. It's Mahara Rahmani. I would like to explain the definition, function, and kind of research article. So, let's get started. Definition of research articles. A research articles report the results of original research, assesses its contribution to the body of knowledge in a given area and is published in a peer-reviewed scholarly journal. Once, research articles had only a limited audience consisting mainly of other scholars and graduate students. Today, websites such as Google Scholar and the proliferation of electronic academic journals have broadened the potential audience for research articles. In the next slide, the function of research articles. The first, as means to convey the author's ideas. And the second one, train to think systematically. And the third, understand the purpose of writing. Number four, as a means of publishing the results of scientific thought. The number five, improve the author's insight. And last, as a reference or reference for readers. The kind of research article. The first, jump to section. The second one, book review. The third, case report. The number four, clinical study. The number five, commentaries and letters to editors. And the last, conference materials. Here, I'm going to explain you about the format of research article and the example of research article. You will see? You want to see? Yes. Okay, let's On the first page, we have to write a title and the title has been determined by us especially has been approved by our supervisor and for the second one we write an abstract and relate it to the title and of course this is for the chapter one 
The abstract itself is a summary of the contents of the report which is written briefly and concisely in 250 until 400 words. Abstract contains the main problem, objectives, methods, data, and con conclusion in the form of paragraph. And for the third one is we write an introduction and it is usually referred to as chapter 2. Chapter 2, okay? And the purpose of the introduction is the initial part, the set, the intent, and purpose of the following writing. This is generally followed by body and conclusion. And for the fourth one, we must write down the content of the discussion according to the title. The point is to explain a problem and this is chapter 3. The closing is in the last chapter, chapter 4. This closing is the part that contains conclusion and suggestion about the content in the discussion. In the last page, you'll you see is a list of references and this is something that the informant uses to support or reinforce a Okay, and for the last one is an example of research at article of instruction or ME the case technology related to classroom and this is the abstract from EMI or ME you can see here the abstract is English as medium of instruction or EMI and then you will see the introduction the introduction from EMI or English as medium of instruction and especially you can see the content from this research article and last but not least you can see the conclusion and really for the last is the references uh, in mas -mas itu, I will to share you about how to good presentation of research result do you know how to do a good presentation of result result this is presentation is very important because after doing writing research result carefully you will also uh, want to present them smoothly for that this time we will discuss some presentation technique let's watch this video until it's finished come on here are some things to consider when making a presentation the first one is time of presentation the provision of presentation time they are forum that allow you to present your result result in 15 minutes or 10 minutes and soon if you already know how much time is a lot practice giving your presentation according according to the time not too much but not too little either don't let it look like you don't have anything to say because you have a lot of time left second prepare a copy of the paper handout if your paper is short and only a few sets then usually the audience wants a copy of the paper however if your paper is very long with tens or hundreds of page they only need a handout master the material what's on the presentation slide or just bullet point of what you convey don't let it seem that you have not mastered the material and are just busy reading the slide or do not leave to them focus on what you want to convey through your research five 
adjust the voice according to the intonation, volume, and pressure, so that the main point of the conversation can be conveyed properly. The appropriate variety of sound will be able to attract the attention of fans. Next, this is very important, is be confident. Don't let you sound doubtful or unsure of what you want to convey. And the last, relaxing and not being nervous will also help you to present smoothly. So, those are some important things if you want to give a good presentation in front of the forum. And well, that's the way to good presentation the results result. Good luck! Well, that's all our video. We hope we can get much beneficial information related to speaking for academic purposes. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye.